Now he loads up the big left hand, parring with his right hand, which is his jab. But you know, with Vasquez, you can't get away with that, Benny. He's not going to be able to get away with parring with him unless he's trying to set, uh, set up a power shot. When you enter the kill zone, you better be thrown against Vasquez because he's strong. So yes. uh, Sonsona might be a bit quicker in the early going here. But look at these heavy shots being landed now by Wilfredo. Yeah, he's starting to close the exits. Starting to close the exits, starting to chase down Sonsona and closing the distance. Good shots here. And this is a good round so far for Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. And they absolutely love it in Puerto Rico. Tremendous calm, tremendous confidence. Again, when you work that hard, as hard as Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. does, and they're straight right, right there by Vasquez. Got him with a good shot. And the straight left hand to the body, but that's not going to stop Vasquez. All right, the bell ends round two. That's a good Vasquez round. I get it dead even after two. The first round for Sansona was closer than the second round. I think uh, all three judges will have that in favor of Vasquez Jr. Well, I think in that first round, I thought that Sonsona's speed yeah. surprised him. And he's got, it looks like a little cut underneath that uh, left eye. This is Sonsona. Arvind Jugarad's going to have to go attend to it, although it looks like uh, Nonito Donaire Sr. is tending to that cut. And Vasquez Jr. is dead. And he's telling when he goes down below, come right over the top of that. And this is where he was starting to go ahead and close the distance. There it is, that quick right hand. But look how quick that uh, Sonsona is, though. Takes that step back just to get out of harm's way. I couldn't tell from my vantage point how serious the cut is. I didn't see a lot of blood anyway, so. And they just, just put some pressure on it. But it's not in a bad spot. No, it's no, below the eye. Exactly. All right, here we go. Round three. Scheduled for 12. At stake, the vacant WBO Junior Featherweight Championship of the World. That's a super bantamweight uh, level as well at 122 pounds. Marvin Sonsona uh, from uh, General Santos City in the Philippines taking on Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. from Bayamon, Puerto Rico. We're in his backyard at the Coliseo Ruben Rodriguez in Bayamon, Puerto Rico. And the Puerto Rican fans have turned out en masse to see this guy. However, Sansona starts out the round pretty good. And right back comes Vasquez Jr. And I've got a dead even, Colonel, 19-19 after two rounds. Evidently, Sansona didn't like the way things went in the round number two. And he's getting a little bit more aggressive. You hear referee Pabon say, hey, watch the heads, guys. Watch those. The last thing we want to see tonight is uh, headbutts. And you know, when we switch to Guadalajara, Mexico yeah, yeah. for the world championship fight down there, uh, Romero and uh, Mayo, it's going to be uh, tough because these guys have a history of headbutts. Yeah, the last five fights for Mayo have been headbutts. Now, right now, Sonsono with the blonde streaks in his hair. Trying to close the gap with Vasquez Jr. Vasquez has shown a bit more power. Sonsono to this point a bit quicker. He's trying to go ahead and close that distance as Vasquez. Now he's digging the body. That's what his dad was trying to get him to do between rounds. Dig the body and come back on top. Very successful digging the body and also slipping the punches and dipping underneath the shots of Sansona. A little bit frustrating now for Sansona. He, you know, even though he became the 112-pound flyweight champion of the world, uh, this guy has got all kinds of world-class uh, uh, ability, uh, has Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. He's got the bloodline, and he, he can fight. We've had the pleasure of doing a couple of these fights in Puerto Rico, and we know that. But the key is going to be, again, two weight divisions that Sansona's going up, and can he withstand the, this type of pressure by Vasquez? Because you look at the two body types, and Vasquez looks bigger. Uh, There's the speed again by Sansona here in round three. Yeah, and uh, Pabon says, don't use your forearms to push him off. So Vasquez uh, kind of hunting him down, stalking him, blasting to the body underneath the elbow, trying to come up inside. Pabon real concerned about the heads coming together. And Vasquez knows how to tuck that head in up against the right ear of uh, Sansona when he comes in. See that? See that head tucked right in there? That's so he can't get at him with any inside uppercut. And of course, you know, again, the feet always kind of clashing here. These are two wrong-footed people trying to dance. Good left hand right there by Vasquez. 
Vasquez wants to load up his right hand power shot. He goes to the body, comes to the uppercut, blasts to the body again. He's in great position here, but the time has run out here in round three. Another good round for Vasquez. Yeah, I'm giving that one right there. 29 28. Now I've got it scored in favor of Vasquez. That's what's being said so far here. Go down low, go down low. Here's some of that action. You're going to see some of the body shots, hopefully, here. There he is. Watch him dig to the body right there. Good left hook right there by Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. against Sonsona. Got him up against that rope. And again, I still say that it's going to be a left punch. If Sonsona goes down, it'll be a left hook by Vasquez that's going to do the job. Because again, Sonsona has a tendency to drop that right hand. All right, here we go with round number four. Scheduled for 12 rounds, WBO Junior Featherweight Championship of the World. Coming to you from Bayamon, Puerto Rico. That's Vesquez Jr., who's won the last couple of rounds and officially in our score sheets. Michael Pernick of Florida, Tom Miller, and uh, Carlos Colon will do the official scoring. Miller and Pernick from the United States, Colon from Puerto Rico. This is round four. And there's that pattern right there. Vasquez digging the left hook to the body and coming with a straight right. And now Pebon warns uh, Vasquez about hanging on and, and letting fly. You see him drop that right hand yep. on the referee just got the way of that camera shot, but but he, he dropped the uh, He drops his hand. You're right, Benny. He's gonna nail him with the left hook. And he, keeps that, he just got him right there This is a tough fight right now for both guys Sansona is aware that Vasquez jr. Has picked up the pace in the last couple of rounds He doesn't want this thing to you know start sliding away from him in this early state He's, he holds on and blasts. He's a tough kid. It is. He knows what he's doing in the ring. At the age of 19, so slick already. But you see, I think he's slowing down now, though. Vasquez is keeping the pressure on him, and you know the heavier blows have been landed throughout the course of the first three rounds, and here into the fourth. That good hard right hand. Look at this landing shots. He slide down the ropes is what he should be doing. Has that cut open up a little bit more as he comes back with the left hand? Looks like he might have a different cut, Benny. I can't really tell. No, I, I think he's still all right. I think he got a pretty good mouse right there. But the key here for Vasquez is you got to mix it up. Go low. There it is. There, go low and then go. Oh, there's that straight right. Bottom of a good, powerful straight right. And he hurt him. It looked like a shot upstairs and then he hurt him to the body. Counts up to four and five. And six and seven. He may not make it. Did he hit him in the eye? Nine and ten. This fight's all over. It's all over. He's been counted out. You must get up following any kind of blow or you will be counted out. That's a fourth round knockout victory and a brand new WBO junior featherweight champion of the world, Wilfredo Vasquez Jr. And when you see with the replay here, you're going to see it's going to be the left. The left of the body. It was starting to cause damage from the second round on. And finally, that was the shot that put down Sonsona. Great right hands, too, right down the pipe on the part of WV2 with Fredo Vasquez Jr. And again, the power is in the blood. His father, 41 knockout. And now you see with Fredo Vasquez Jr. with his 15th knockout in 18 wins, one draw. How about that? He's got the belt. Wilfredo Vasquez Jr., father-son world champion, now at 122. Now Wilfredo Vasquez Jr., Puerto Rico, has got to see if he can defend it as many times as his dad did. Or at 25 years old, will he move up and wait and stay right at this weight for a while and defend this title a few times as Judo Zavala is thrilled that he has his champion. That's terrific. Judo Zavala Jr., very, very happy with this fighter. 
and I'm, really came through. And I'm sure the Rivera brothers, Peter and Ivan, are pretty happy with the uh, development of tonight as Vasquez Jr. has just won the WBO Junior Featherweight Championship of the World. Things are moving along. I didn't expect Sansona to go. Something strange happened at the very end, and, and I, I, I want to see the replays here to find out exactly what did happen because it, it looked like he was mesmerized by more than just a punch.